firefighters are volunteers, and most of them staff small rural stations. As Action 10 Stephanie Snowden reports, volunteer firefighters face unique and dangerous challenges. Firefighters battle a trailer fire at the end of a remote trail in Union County. The dangers are great. The road leading to the scene of the blaze was not made for modern-day fire trucks. It's rural America, to be quite honest with you. As in much of rural America, there are no fire hydrants, and the lighting on roads is poor. When you get into a rural setting, it turns the ball completely around because you have to have a lot of water, and the pumps have to still be large enough to meet the ISO, which is the insurance service office. The state of Tennessee has over 650 volunteer fire departments that battle rural blazes like this one, and most operate on shoestring budgets. Our budget here is about $20,000 a year, and we consider that to be very, very good for the size of the community that we have and the support that we get. 35 volunteers maintain the station and equipment. Most are state-certified firefighters and trained as emergency medical technicians. Currently, the station serves 2,500 residents, but Lovett says the community is growing, but the volunteers say their commitment is unwavering. We're the savior when everybody else needs help. When they can't figure out what else to do, they call the fire department. Stephanie Snowden, Action 10 News. One man died in last night's trailer fire in Union County. His identity has not been released. Meanwhile, investigators continue to search for the cause of the blaze.